How we doing, Heat fans? It's your boy, Ernest, back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Mine's was pretty good. I mean, we had our negatives. Before I get to it, you guys, I want to show you a little something. Reason why I wasn't able to post the video yesterday is because I was out of, out, out of town doing this. As y'all know, your boy's a professional wrestler, and back on Saturday, I won this. CCW Tag Team Championship along with my partner Johnny Nova. We are elevated status. So one question I wanted to ask you guys before we move forward to Miami Heat Talk. I've been doing pro wrestling now for many years, listed as one of the best this state in Florida has. Would you guys like me to start posting my wrestling videos so you can see what I'm all about? I like to keep things separate, but people have been telling me lately, add them all together. Let me know your thoughts. But we ain't here to talk about wrestling. We're here to talk about the Miami Heat. And the reason why I started with this title is because I want to talk about positivity. That's what I'm about. I'm about making you guys smile. I'm about making you guys happy. Life sucks. We know this. We have to look at the little things in life to remind ourselves what makes us move forward, what keeps us positive. That sure as hell was not the Miami Heat this past weekend. We got our asses whooped on Friday, and then last night we lost again. 116 to 108. Now, before all the haters and shit talkers start, let's just see it for what it is. It's two games in Philadelphia. They got their star back. They had that crown with them. The momentum is there. I don't care what anybody says. You can say heat in four, heat in five, whatever. Fully healthy. Joel Embiid, James Harden, Tobias Harris, Tyrese Maxey, Danny Green, they're a problem. It's not easy. So now this is officially a series, okay? Joel Embiid's not being held back. No one else is being held back. They're coming to us, and they're coming to us with everything. Series tied 2-2. Game 5 tomorrow. Tuesday. True test for the Miami Heat. Miami Heat needs to bounce back and win this one. But let's talk about a few things last night. First and foremost, another dominant, amazing performance by Jimmy Butler. 40 points. I mean, I think we can all agree when we say Jimmy Buckets is back, man. The Jimmy Jimmy from 2020 bubble, he's back. You know, last year, dude had COVID, suffering through injuries. We've been seeing Jimmy playing at another level this season, including in the playoffs. So my hat's off to Jimmy. But the same shit happened in game three. It was Jimmy out there doing everything, and everybody else was just playing like trash. I mean, look, there are some people that had great games. You know, you had um, Bam Adebayo, 21.7 rebounds, but he didn't really do it in the fourth quarter. You had Tyler Hero, who had 11 points, 10 assists, or 10, no, uh, 11 points, 10 rebounds, excuse me. But 11 points, the dude was freaking 3 for 15 from the field, 1 for 5 for 3. That's a terrible game. Tyler Hero hits his shots. Tyler Hero plays like he usually does. We win that game. Now, I'm not going to say it's Tyler Hero's fault. There's other people that had bad games. Uh, you had Victor Olad uh, excuse me, you had Victor Oladipo. He had, and he had a pretty solid game, 15 points. But then you had Gabe Vincent missing shots. Max Struess missing shots. It was just not a great night for the Miami Heat. Now, we took it to them. This game was much more contested than game three. It was really close. There was even time in the fourth quarter. We were down by 13 points. We brought it back to four. It looks like Miami was going to do it, but man, Philly was just not letting up. My hat's off to the Philadelphia 76ers. Not just a great, great offensive team, but defensively, they shut us down. Joel Embiid was having a field day against Bam Adebayo down on the floor. Dude only had seven rebounds. Not great. Bam Adebayo can do a lot better than that. But it's just like I said before, you guys. We can't control what happens in the past. We just look forward to today and for the future. And the future lies game five. Now, Miami still have the home court advantage. With the 2-2 series tied, it's five in Miami, six in Philly, and then back to Miami for a possible game seven. I still say heat in six. I'm confident. I feel Miami is going to get it together tomorrow, and then in game six in Philadelphia, we'll crush them out. Now, being that said, this is cocky Miami Heat fan talking, and yes, I'm wearing a black Alonzo morning jersey because I'm mourning the freaking loss yesterday. But I'm going to stay positive because tomorrow we're going to get back at it. But unfortunately, we got a problem. Kyle Lowry re-injured his hamstring. He might be out for game five. If that happens, it's a problem. Now, it's not like Kyle Lowry was doing... Big stuff yesterday. Six points, 
three rebounds, seven assists, but it's what he does when he's on the floor. He's our quarterback one. He makes the smartest plays. He makes sure everybody's set up in their spots. And also with Kyle out there, it takes away pressure from Tyler, Jimmy, and Bam as far as ball control goes. So with Kyle out, we're going to need a lot more from Jimmy. We're going to need a lot more from Bam. But the person that needs to step up is Tyler Mother Hero. He's got to step up. And one thing I will say, with the fact that we've lost these last two games and knowing that Philadelphia's defense allows this creation of space, maybe it's time Spolstra gives Duncan Robinson 10 to 12 minutes because we were lacking offensively yesterday. And I remember sitting there and thinking, bro, you have one of the NBA's best shooters sitting in the bench. If you're losing like this, throw him out there. See if he hits a few shots. It's not like Duncan doesn't know how this offense works. He's been with us for three years. Yeah, he's been struggling a little bit. But when you're offensively depleting like that, especially in game three, throw one of your best offensive options out there. I understand he's a defensive liability, but put him out there in the second, third quarter against the backups and see what you get. Last night, we were, we were only playing eight men. Off the bench, we had Tyler and Victor. Gale, uh, Gabe Vincent only played 10 minutes. Markeith Morris only paid three, excuse me. Victor Oladipo and Tyler Hero both put in over 30 minutes, so Spolstra was going seven deep. You had Duncan Robinson right there chilling. Why not try it? Give it a shot. See if he can hit some shots. Bring it back offensively. I'm not the coach of this team, but if it's not working, try something different. We've seen Spolstra do that in the past, you guys. So here's the question. Is it time to panic? I say no. It's not time to panic. Because Philadelphia did what they're supposed to do. Guys, this is the NBA playoffs. Just because the Miami Heat doesn't sweep a team doesn't mean that it's time to get scared. And oh no, Philly, they beat us both and it's over. No. All they did was piss the Heat off. We're going to come back to the, to the AAA arena. I ain't calling it the FTX arena. I don't care how much you pay me. I ain't calling it that until Miami Heat gives me a job. But still. <laughs> but still. It's a AAA arena. We're going to come back. We're going to come back strong. I really, really feel you guys in Miami Heat will get this win. We lose tomorrow, then brr, hit that panic button. Because you're going back to Philadelphia down 3-2, that ain't good. All right? So what we need to do is we need to top all this bullshit. And you know what? Some of y'all, right? I, I honestly said it in the comments one time. He said, you know what? Now with this loss, they're just going to talk mad shit about us. All day today, I've just been hearing people saying, oh, you never know. It's Philly's going to take back this series. Bullshit. We're going to go ahead and crush them. I have this feeling strong. I know Miami can do it. Tomorrow, we got to come at them. We got to come at them hard with the pressure. Defensively, stay on top of them. Hopefully, Dwayne Dedman gets to play again, you guys, because Dedman is a defensive presence against Joel Embiid. He missed the game yesterday due to an illness. He should be back for game five. I know some people will be like, Dwayne Dedman, who cares? It's a seven-foot body that shoots threes, knows this defense, knows how to play accurately. With Dwayne Dedman there, he does, he fills the job for backup role center perfectly. There were times yesterday when Bam had to go to the bench and Veed was being guarded by Jimmy Butler and P.J. Tucker. That ain't going to work. We need a big body down there. Dedman's going to do the job. Um, so we need it. We need him. We need our players. We need our team 100% healthy. These injuries are really hurting us, and we're seeing it. With Kyle Lowry not there, he got injured late in the game. With him out there, we made a little run. Who knows what could have happened? We could have taken the lead. I mean, these are the little things, you guys, that I feel like either makes or breaks us because we are one of the most talented NBA teams. But there's also great teams. These four teams that are in the playoffs right now in the East are the best of the best. Miami, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, and Philadelphia. They're the best teams in the East. So you got to bring it. Oh, my God, you got to bring it. You got to bring it 100%. That's just, there's no time for excuses now, okay? There really isn't. So all the people that are going to call us bubble frauds and all the people that are going to say, told you so, the Heat are losing, hold your breath because the series ain't over yet. It's just like Black Mamba says, job ain't finished yet. Don't be celebrating if it ain't finished. 
Miami Heat is going to come hard at the AAA arena tomorrow, and we're going to do what we do best. Winning! I am confident, you guys. I know the Heat are going to win. I am predicting a 116 to 110 victory. Tomorrow is going to be a dog fight. It's going to be back and forth. That game yesterday was incredible. Back and forth. It was tied most of the game. I know they slipped away towards the end, but it was a really, really entertaining game to watch. So I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. Who's panicking right now? Do you feel like this series is a complete risk now to be lost? Or do you feel, hey, nah, heat in six, I'm being confident. Let me know your thoughts, you guys. Most importantly, support the page, y'all. Hit the like button, comment. Most importantly, subscribe. I'm trying to stay positive, you guys. The last, the, this weekend sucked, but let's be happy. Let's count all the blessings in our life. Remember, if you're upset and you're hating the way things go, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and remind yourself why you're still going. Remind yourself five reasons. It could be your wife, your husband, your kids, your house, God, the blessings in your life. Always make sure to put God first. But remember the blessings in your life, you guys. Remember the fact that you have goodness in your heart. Just because our Miami Heat team loses a game doesn't mean we have to freak out, all right? Just want to throw that for you guys. I love y'all. Thank you so much for the love and support. And until next time, it's your boy, Ernest Alp. Let's go Heat. And that's enough said.